Hello everyone, for our action today, we've come to the Vaughan Invest Weserstadion on the River Island here in Bremen. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson and looking forward to bringing you action from the Bundesliga. It's Werder Bremen up against Stuttgart. Thanks Derek, well often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And here's the initial 11 for Werder Bremen. Well, it looks as though they're lining up fairly defensively with a back five. But I think the wing-backs will have license to get forward at every opportunity. And also watch out for one of the central midfield players going to join the front two. And so the Stuttgart starting 11. Well, they're playing with a midfield diamond, so key to their success will be the holding midfielder and the player in the number 10 position. They really need to influence the game here today. And this confrontation is underway. Bittencourt. Groß. Here's Füllkrug. Nicely timed tackle. Wataru Endo. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. Oh, back underway and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Marvin Dux. Christian Gross. And a tidy tackle. Girassi. Might be a chance here. No hiding from the fact that they really should have extended their lead. Well, that was a poor miss. Could they come to regret that? Chris Fury. And he has options available. Opportunity here. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. Two nil 
ball here and the ball is moving again Gross ball with Bittencourt and he's given it away beautifully weighted ball great opportunity they had to react and did Stargett Gross working away patiently looking for an opening could pull one back here Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Girassi and great work to confuse the defender well danger averted thanks to his teammate there will be one minute added on at the end and there goes the whistle we're at the halfway mark here at the Weser Stadion this man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point Stuart well, it's been an incredible performance from him. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. It's a perfect challenge. Christian Gross. Phil Krug. Jens Stage. Just not looking confident in possession. Endo. Chris Fury. Moving forward effectively. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. And that's the hat trick! Tearing apart this defence time and again. They simply can't handle him. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect, but you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Niklas Stark. And on the ball, Friedel. Fulkrug. He's going forward well here. And let's give credit to the defending. Wagnoman. Potential danger. He's protecting it well. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay.
Now, let's see what they can do here. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Just 15 minutes remaining. He's in here. Bittencourt. Christian Gross. Fulkrug. Jens Stage. And an astute piece of defending. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, that's a super ball over the top. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Gross. Jens Stage. Oh, in with a chance! It's got to be! Watered by the post. Threat over for now, it seems. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. Well, Derek, they were certainly off the pace today. Beaten to the ball in too many key areas. They need to refocus now and perform better next time out. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, his movement was brilliant today. Whether he was running in behind or dropping into pockets of space, he caused all sorts of problems. What a good hat-trick that was.